Hey everyone, this is Chris. Uh, as you might have guessed from my Twitter account earlier this week, uh, I decided to brew up a little bit of Sylvan Jank using some of the newest cards that were released, uh, like Thranduil here and Elven King, which I don't have in my hand, but you'll see soon enough. Uh, and we're going up against the same Woodland Realm quest from last time. I have it on hand, and you know, it's always nice to beat a quest on video. And in a lot of the older videos, I'd like to sort of walk through right now what this deck is trying to do. Um, but in the interest of time and just getting to it, let me just say this deck is going to draw too many cards. And I'm just going to cycle them back in and draw even more. And I have no idea if I have put in too many card draw cards, uh, but it kind of looks like it. So we'll have to see how this goes. Let's get to it. Draw my first card of the game. Well, that's a nice one. All right, so first things first, we're going to unlikely friendship, thanks to Thranduil and Biffer. An extra unlikely friendship. Uh, that gets me one resource, which I will put on Thranduil. Draw myself a card. Uh, before we do anything else, spend one for a Galadrum Weaver. And shuffle that unlikely friendship right back into the deck. This is going to happen a lot, which is why I wanted to make sure we got going very quickly. Uh, and, you know, I could cut out the shuffling, but I do most of these videos in a single take because it is way easier for me to edit and I don't feel weird about sort of jarring cuts in the middle. Anyways, shuffled that one back in. Let's use those two leadership resources to put Steward on Thranduil. That's going to come in very handy soon. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, and I think I'm going to hold on to the rest of my cards for now. So questing, we got three, four, five, six, uh, seven with an Elrond's Council. Dropping my threat down to 22. Up against five in the staging area is, is maybe not so great. Forgot to flip to 1B again. <laughs> All right, so seven up against five. Search top five for a card costs less than one, equal to or less, four, five. <sighs> All right, well, we're gonna get one of these Mirkwood flocks. Now I have to do some more shuffling and reveal an extra card because of Surge. Good news, Mirkwood Flock should be easy for me to kill uh, with the cards in my hand and Thranduil's ability. So, another card, Ambushing Orcs. All right, well, that is gonna definitely change things, so. Thrandu will defend this immediate attack. Uh, three attack versus three defense means he will take one point of damage. And I sent once again three, four, five, six, seven up against five, six, seven, eight. So I raise my threat by one. Uh, let's travel to Labyrinthine Woods to get that two threat out of the staging area. I don't have to engage the orcs, so I won't. Um, I do engage the Mirkwood flock. I get a shadow card. I'm going to use Thranduil's ability, spend those two resources, pop into play a Greenwood Archer. Causes him to stand back up, ready to defend against the flock. No shadow effect, so he takes no damage. And Greenwood Archer puts one on the flock. I decided for many reasons to not pack Celeborn in this deck in addition to Thranduil, 
Uh, and right now I'm kind of feeling the, the loss there. But that's okay. We're still only at 24 threat. Uh, we have steward, we have a decent amount of willpower once we get past this initial crush of locations. So yeah, let's draw my card for next round, generate my resources. Biffer is at two, Arwen at one. Uh, let me Darren's runes. Draw two, discard an Elven Light, perfect. So I'll spend one to bring the Elven Light back and knock all of these cards onto the floor. So for the sake of cleaning up my mess, we'll just do a quick shuffle. Draw my card from Elven Light. I like that one. Uh, hmm. Yes, all right. Uh, I'll discard Elven Light with Arwen's ability, so pick it back up and draw another card. Because quite frankly, I like having all these cards in my hand. I do have another Greenwood Archer, so I can pop a Sylvan in during the combat phase again. Um, I need to find a healer. I have a tree people that might get me there. I guess first things first, let's play a Nath guide and say, uh, let's say that Thranduil doesn't need to exhaust to commit to the quest this round. So up against one, two, three, four, five in the staging area one more time. Uh, we will send six, seven, eight. Doing a little better. Reveal this bear who is a two threat bear right now. So my eight up against seven means I will make one progress. I can't really engage the bear. Eh, I could. It's probably not worth it right now. Uh, same thing with the ambushing orcs. No, I think I do want to engage the orcs just to get them out of the staging area. Uh, I can take their attack pretty much no problem. I have an emergency tree people in case I need it. No feigned voices yet, which is, is sort of the gold standard, but that is okay. Uh, let me defend first this ambushing orcs attack. Shadow effect, each enemy engages who gets plus one until the end of the phase, that sucks. All right, well, that is two damage now on Thranduil. I will spend one off of Biffer and one off of Thranduil uh, to pop in another Greenwood Archer. Readying Thranduil. Uh, yeah, we'll do this again. So three attack on the flock versus three defense. Did not engage me this round, so the plus two attack shadow should be safe. And that is a dark black woods. No damage, no problem. So at this point, in order to possibly kill the orcs, uh, I am in the tree people, returning this Galadrim Weaver. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if I can grab a Sylvan ally out of here. Well, only one of these allows me to kill the orcs, so I'll take this Nath guide. <laughs> Which is Arwen does not have to exhaust to commit to quests for the rest of the round, uh, just for fun. And we should be able to just use these five attack get rid of this ambushing orcs. I can't do anything else this round, so ticking back up to 25. Standing all my heroes, desperate for a little bit of healing. I uh, got resources, one on Arwen, three on Thranduil with a steward, and one more on Biffer. Draw my card for the turn. 
Okay, I think I need that. I need that. We're going to deep knowledge, threat up to draw two cards. Well, there's healing. Uh, so let me play unlikely friendship to draw a card and put a resource on Biffer. Use those resources off Biffer to play a Sylvan Tracker, uh, which is going to help Thranduil start healing up some of this damage. Spend one off of Arwen. Shuffle an unlikely friendship back into the deck. I have another Weaver, but if I discard a card in order to get a card on Arwen, <laughs> it just ends up turning into Elven Light shuffling back into the deck, which is no good. Uh, so let me, Nath Guy choosing Thranduil again, uh, and I will use Arwen's ability to cycle this Elven Light. All right, committing to the quest. We are still up against five in the staging area, so here's six from Heroes. Uh, Sylvan Tracker will leave seven, eight, nine, ten committed to the quest. When revealed, each player raises his threat. That's actually fun. All right. So I send my 10 up against five is five progress. Two on this and three on the main quest. Um, oh, well, this is easy. I will travel to Dark Black Woods because it will force me to discard, oh no, this <laughs> elven light. Such a tragedy. Uh, not going to engage the bear. I still have four threat before I have to do that. So let's just have Thranduil defend against this Mirkwood flock. All right, which adds a Mirkwood flock to the staging area. Uh, and we have more than enough archers to kill this first flock. So yeah, not too shabby. Took up to 30 threat in the refresh phase. Still three away from the bear. Uh, Sylvan Tracker heals one off of Thranduil. And assuming I can get more trackers, uh, we'll get to the point where Thranduil just heals to full every round. Sounds good to me. So draw my card, generate my resources. Four on Thranduil, one on everyone else. Uh, that is a Sylvan Tracker, which is fantastic. Uh, yeah, so let me move one of these resources over to Biffer. Use two resources on Biffer to play a Galadra Minstrel. Let me look at one, two, three, four, five. Let me look at five cards. Grab an event. Um, I'll take Darren's Runes. Deep Knowledge is great. Uh, but at this point, with the bear only three turns away, uh, I think I'd rather take the Darren's Runes card draw. So, well, play that Darren's Runes, might as well. Draw two, those are good cards. Uh, and I will discard an Elven Light. I might as well pay one. Pick that Elven Light back up, draw a card. Extra Steward is useless, um, but I feel pretty good regardless. So, committing to the quest. Up against four in the staging area this time. Here is three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Once again. Beast of Tarnafwin. Uh, all right, so my 10 up against eight, that is two progress. I have a Feigned Voices and a Quicker Than Sight, so I will be able to deal with this beast. 
Uh, yeah, seems fair to me. So I do have to engage the beast and the flock. I get shadow cards. Uh, before anything else happens, I'm going to use Thranu's ability to add a Sylvan Tracker. Yeah, I think this is the right move. All right, so let's have a Sylvan Tracker defend against the Mirkwood flock. Chief the Newftock as a shadow card is fantastic. All right, so if the beast gets a plus two damage shadow effect, uh, Thranduil is fine. If the beast gets a, sorry, there should be one damage on this. If the beast gets no shadow effect, uh, it's gonna be one automatic damage and one from the carryover, which is fine. I think we're good this round. Uh, and if we do get a shadow effect that absolutely destroys something, I have quicker than sight. So let's defend with Thranduil. Either raise your threat by two or attacking enemy gets plus two. Um, so plus two means I take two damage, which is gonna get healed. So I'll just do that. All right, so I end up at three damage. Oh, I can put four on the beast, but that forces me to chump him. No, because I have feigned voices, right. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, life is good. So let's just drop four damage on this beast. I still have time before having to deal with the bear. I still have protection from attacks for next round. I can't deal with the flock, but that's okay. So ticking up, 31 threat. Thranduil heals back to almost full. This Sylvan Tracker is full. And everyone gets resources for the next round. One and one. Draw a card. Okay, well, I like that one quite a bit, actually. So let's play Elven King on Thranduil. Uh, and now we're basically in perfect shape. Uh, I'll spend one for a Weaver, shuffling Darren's runes back into my deck. I'm not really digging for anything at this point. I'm just sort of mechanically going through the motions of uh, playing all the Sylvan nonsense. So there's, there's a lot of enemies engaged with me right now, and I don't have the damage that is necessary to take them all out at once. Uh, but overall, we're doing pretty good. I might save the Nath guides this round in order to uh, put a little more damage out, but we shall see. All right. Yeah, let me cycle Elven Light with Arwen to draw a card. Perfect, that's another Shadow Canceler. So yeah, uh, <laughs> at this point, life is good. Uh, we have three in the staging area, so here is three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, committed to the quest. What we're really hoping for is not another enemy right now. Dry water course, perfect. I sent eight up against five, that is three progress. Two on the dark black woods, one on captured by spiders. Uh, do I want to travel to the spider den? I think I do. Yeah, I might as well. It'll give me a little more combat potential. Uh, and as I know from having played this deck last week, there aren't any zero cost enemies, so I skip that effect. I'm not gonna engage the bear, so let's just move to combat. 
get my shadow cards. All right, so here is the plan. Thranduil is gonna defend this Mirkwood flock. If this attack destroys a character, which it will not. And then I'm going to use Feigned Voices to cancel this attack, picking back up a Galadrum Weaver. I'll use Thranduil's ability to pop that Weaver back into play, shuffle that Feigned Voices back into my deck, because it turns out Feint is really strong. Uh, and so I do not have to defend against that beast of Tarnifwin. All right, and let's see where I'm at. I need five to kill the beast, so that's an easy five. That shadow effect would have been annoying, but not terrible. Uh, and three to kill the Mirkwood flock, so here is three. Yep, sounds good to me. All right, let's so take up to 32 threat. Ready all of my allies. And all my heroes. Friend will heals to full, thanks to the Sylvan Trackers. Still have shadow protection. No faint, but that's okay. So, moving on. Generate my resources, draw my card. Well, extra Elven King is not great. So we'll just tuck that over there. I don't have any Sylvan allies in my discard pile for Orofin to return yet. Um, and I don't think I need his willpower or his attack. So we are going to spend one off of Arwen to pick up Elven Light, draw a card. Extra Steward again. Uh, we'll cycle Elven Light one more time. Draw a Galadrim Minstrel, which I will happily play. Search the top five for an event. Mm, I can't drop my threat by more than one. Um, and if I take any other events, I will have to engage the bear this round, so let's just take We Are Not Idle. I don't actually mind exhausting Biffer for resources, except that I don't think I need them. So I will just play this We Are Not Idle to draw a card. There's my third shadow cancel. Uh, let's quest. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, up against four. It's another dark black woods. So that is currently six, like three progress, one here and two on the quest. Which means now that Mendor, perfect, who will heal every round from the Sylvan Trackers, uh, is on my side. So I travel to dry water course. I am forced to engage the bear this round, which quite honestly seems correct. Uh, so let's travel to dry water course, taking up my threat to 33. This forces me to engage this bear, gets a shadow card, uh, which I can cancel very, very easily. So I'll defend with Thranduil. Uh, I'll see how bad this is. Attacking enemy gets plus two, means that Thranduil is gonna take three damage. That does not seem worth canceling. Uh, there's not much direct damage in here, if any. And like I said, I'm gonna heal two this round, so I'm not too worried. Uh, and the bear currently needs seven to kill, so here is two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, sure. Actually, no, I'm... <laughs> Normally I go all out, and I'm just like, I'll attack with everyone, because it doesn't matter. But then I have to stand them all back up again, so I don't know why I do that. Uh, that is more than enough to kill a bear. No more wild bear. 
Do I want to pop a Sylvan Ally into play right now? Um, shuffling We Are Not Idle back in does not really help me very much. Let's do a Minstrel, actually. Ooh, no, but then Thranduil doesn't heal. Yeah, no, we're fine. Everything is fine. Tick up to 34 threat. Stand up all these characters. One nice thing about Octagon, everything is always aligned and easy to ready. Uh, okay, draw my card for the round, get my resources. Um, so I was gonna end up at seven, which is quite frankly too many. So let's Darren's runes to draw two. And I will discard this stale steward. Uh, I can reduce my threat right now, so that's good. Uh, let me play a deep knowledge. Take up to 36, draw two cards. Not bad. Uh, play a We Are Not Idle to draw a card. Send one of these over to Biffer so I can play a Galadra Minstrel. Look at one, two, three, four, five. Sure, take an unlikely friendship. Got confused about which pile was my hand and which pile was my deck for a second. Because I think my deck is smaller right now. <laughs> Uh, let me play that Unlikely Friendship to draw a card and put a resource on Biffer. Um, at this point, can't bounce. Uh, oh, I could, actually. Although then I'm just going to get tree people back. All right, well, let's steer in runes. One, two. Uh, I will discard this other extra steward. So now I have two tree peoples, feigned voices, a bunch of shadow protection. I have an elven light, two elven lights that I can cycle. Now I think what I'm going to try and recycle is this Elrond's Council uh, so that I can keep my threat under control. And I have a bunch of Sylvan event backup. So life is good. Uh, yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, committed to the quest, up against two in the staging area. All right, up against four in the staging area. So I'll make five progress. Four on the water course, one on the main quest. I will travel to Dark Black Woods. Uh, which forces me to discard a card, which will be Elven Light, which I will honestly just bring back to my hand with an extra card, because there's Feigned Voices. Um, but since I forgot, I might as well cycle the Elven Light one more time, get myself the third Weaver, and <laughs> I'll play Elrond's Council to drop my thread by three. I could have done that in quest phase to get an extra progress, but I don't think it matters at all. Thranduil is not going to heal this round because he didn't do anything. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Uh, let me spend one. Play this third weaver in the combat phase. Shuffle the Elrond's council back in. 12. Uh, yes, I think my hand is bigger than the deck right now. Well, that's fine. This is exactly what we wanted. <laughs> I should have saved one of those uh, Mirkwood flock engaged with me so that I could constantly have something to do with Thranduil, but oh well. Take up to 34, refresh all these characters, most of whom didn't do anything exciting. Draw my card, bounce up to eight resources on Thranduil. I have a lot of Elven Lights right now. 
All right, so yeah, first things first, Cycle Elven Light with Arwen. Yeah, it's a fun one. Uh, Thranduil should be at one damage. Two trackers, I believe. So all right, let's commit to the quest. Send Thranduil. Send the usual squad. So that is six, 12 up against two. If I don't make it past stage one this round, we're just we're just gonna call it. Hey, the wild wargs. That's pretty good. Up against four, I will make 12 of like eight progress. Four on the dark black woods. Enough to clear captured by spiders. So moving on to the chosen path. One, two, three, four, five. Pick a card that costs one or less. Basically gonna pick a card that costs one. Turned around does nothing. Uh, Hatred Rekindled just surges, so we're gonna take the bear. All right, a Lost in the Dark. First treachery revealed each round, game's Dune won, and it cannot be canceled. I don't have any cancellation effects, so at least that part is no big deal. Forced to engage a couple of enemies. One and a two. Um, yeah, I'm okay not traveling to the Eaves of Mirkwood, honestly. So, engage these enemies. Boop. Boop. First things first, let's spend two resources to pop in a Greenwood Archer, readying Thranduil. I'll have Thranduil defend against this wild bear. I can cancel this shadow. No shadow effect means that he's gonna take one damage. And I am going to Feigned Voices picking up a Weaver in order to avoid this Wild Wargs possibly going back to the staging area. Shadow Effect was a location, so it would have gone back. It's currently a three defense bear, so let's see what we can do with all of these. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's thirteen points of attack. I think it's eight and four, so I do absolutely have enough. So here's four for the wild wargs, and here's six, seven, eight, nine for the bear. I don't want an elven king because then Thrandu will own heal. And I do want to play that Weaver next round. So let's refresh. Honestly, with the number of resources on Thranduil as we sort of wind towards the end of this deck, I could be cycling a much more expensive card. I'm not sure what that would be. Path of Need, maybe? as an easy example of something useful. But even then, that's not gonna make much of a difference here, since most of my attacking characters don't really contribute much to the quest. Anyways, draw my card for the round, generate my resources. Here's another Feigned Voices. Uh, I think we might not have to take any attacks for the rest of the game, just honestly. So, spend one, play a Weaver, Shuffle Feigned Voices back into my deck. Uh, Thranduil should have healed last round. I honestly might as well spend all of these resources for an Orifin. Uh, his stats are good and I don't think I'm gonna need them. I need his, uh, his other ability anytime soon. Uh, so let's cycle Elven Light with Arwen to draw another card. Elrond's Council is a good one. So, committing to the quest. I've got three, four, five, six, seven, so we can make a bunch of progress. 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Um, let's do 14, 15, 16, committed to the quest. Make it 17 with the council. Drops my threat to 32. And I reveal. Uh, each player raises his threat by three plus the doomed. <laughs> So, all right, well, there goes my threat reduction, uh, but I do make 10 progress on the quest. I don't want to travel to the eaves of Mirkwood because that random discard is no fun. I should quest with Thranduil so that I can always ready him if no enemies pop up. All right, good enough. Tick up to 37. Everybody stands back up. <laughs> Draw my card. Hey, is another council. Uh, generate my resources. At some point, I will stop keeping track of how many are on Thranduil because we just won't really be spending anymore. All right, questing. Six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, 15, 16, 17 with Elrond's Council. <laughs> Drops my threat to 34. Well, well here's a doomed one. Oh, oh, okay, that's bad. Uh, <laughs> 9, 10, 11, 15? All right, well, that's a uh, casual 50 threat right there. Couldn't have canceled that card even if I'd wanted to. <laughs> All right, well, I think we were doing good, honestly. Uh, see the Sylvan army, see the bouncing back and forth, see all these cards in my hand. Uh, did not expect a doomed 16 popping off the top of the encounter deck. That card is nasty. All right, everyone, that's going to be it today. I'll probably make some tweaks, try this deck against a different quest. Thanks for watching.